Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners for relaxed hair. And one of them is black owned and it is by Design Essentials. It's called the Bamboo and Silk HCO Leave-In Conditioner. So this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. I've been using this for maybe about three years. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been some years. Let's put it like that. So let's go over what it does for the hair. So on the bottle, it says this is a targeted, highly penetrating conditioning treatment that detangles, smooths, and separates strands while providing intense thermal protection for blow drying and heat styles. Enriched with bamboo extracts and silk protein for maximum hair protection, bamboo and silk HCO leave-in conditioner quickly penetrates deep within the hair shaft to strengthen and replenish needed proteins, leaving hair soft, manageable, and full of body. So I use this leave-in conditioner and I gravitate to it probably about 80% of the time. I make sure to use this whenever I am flat ironing my hair. Also, I use this for wet sets as well, like braid outs and roller sets or roller wraps. I love this leave-in conditioner because I feel like it helps keep my hair balanced. I feel like it helps keep me a protein and moisture balance. I absolutely love this product. It does what it says it does. It helps with detangling. It is moisturizing. It is light. So you still have plenty of body whenever you are styling your hair, but it's light as in it's not going to weigh your hair down, but you can definitely feel the protection from the thermal um, styling when you are going through a flattening, flattening your hair. You can kind of feel that protection and it does help make your hair strong as well with those silk protein with the silk um, amino acids, it does help to make your hair strong. And also one of the key ingredients in here that it highlights is it is the bamboo. And I feel like bamboo extract really isn't talked about a lot in hair care. And one of the things, just to highlight one of the things that bamboo extract is good for when it comes to your hair is that um, it helps to, I got a ring down right here. So you see me looking down, this is why. It helps to draw nutrients vital to your hair growth to the surface to nourish and fortify hair follicles. So also if you have a sensitive scalp, this is something that can help with your scalp issues as well. So I wanted to highlight that because I know some people that might be a, one of the reasons why some people don't like to leave a leave-in conditioner because they feel like it'll irritate their scalp if they have a sensitive scalp that is um, sensitive to flaking. This will not give you that. I trust me on that it won't give you that so just give it a try try it out see if you like it if not ditch it you can get this from or give it away give it away you we're not being completely wasteful but you can get this from a design essentials distributor they have a website so you can get it from designessentials.com also you can get it off of Amazon be careful with Amazon because I've gotten some products for Amazon that ended up being a replica, a fake, not a, the genuine product. And I've had to um, contact Amazon about it and get my money back. So be careful with Amazon. Like I love Amazon, but when it's coming to products, like certain products now, like with skincare and hair care and stuff, I'm kind of starting not to, sorry, not wanting to buy from Amazon for those type of items because sometimes the person might also be selling it to you and it, and it might be a discounted price but the product might be old and you might not know so I've been kind of leery of buying things from Amazon but anyways it's on there so you know take your own risk also I think that Sally's might sell this line I'm not sure they sell some design essentials products but not all of their products i believe they might send up sell the bamboo and silk but i'm not completely sure my local beauty supply house here where i live sells it so sometimes i will get it from them so just look around you might be able to find it online somewhere or somewhere local 
but I absolutely love this brand. They have quite a bit of good products. You know, you might want to give them a try. I know one of the things that's been on my radar is the agave and lavender line that they have. And it's a, it's a, um, I know that a lot of women that are natural use it and they swear by it and they love it. And they say it's moisturizing and it has protein in it as well. So I've been thinking about trying that leave-in as well. If you've tried anything for that line, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Because I'm thinking about buying like the complete line just to try it out and see if I like it or not. So yeah, because I just hear so many good things about it. So, and I love my Design Essentials leave-in, so it's making me want to try it. So yeah, I love, love, love this line. How I use it is I will shampoo condition i will spray this throughout my hair and i will light you know gently detangle and as i'm i use this while i detangle and so while i'm detangling it's being evenly distributed throughout my hair and then i'm going to you know style my hair however i want to style it that week um i love the nozzle spray on this and how it sprays out like <laughs> I'm shocking myself like it sprays out a lot of products as well so as you are and I'm not scared to spray it because it is very very light and I know it's not going to my hair isn't going to revert I gotta relax sir a little water ain't going well not water but you know it's got water in it but a little bit of this ain't gonna hurt it but it I don't know if y'all could tell when I did that maybe I'll spray it this way like a lot sprays out so as you're using it, just spray it once and kind of gauge to see how much product you might need. But the nozzle, when you spray this, like it sprays everywhere. Like it's not just, you know how some things you'll spray and you, you spray it in that direction, it's just a little bit of product to come out and it's not really even. And it's kind of hard to get an even distribution throughout your hair with the nozzle spray. I don't know, maybe I'm just anal like that, but I love that when you spray it, a lot of product missed out, so. I really enjoy it. It does help give your hair a great shine. And this is one of my beloved favorites. I, you've seen this in a couple of my videos. And I absolutely love and adore it. It is my favorite leave-in conditioner. Now, the other leave-in conditioner I'm going to mention is called It's a 10 leave-in pr product. It is not black-owned, but it does the job as well. I use this one, I feel like I need more moisture to me. If my hair needs a little bit more moisture, I will go for the It's a 10. Now, It's a 10 is a great product as well. One of the things that I love about It's a 10 is it posts, it does help with detangling. Um, it has silk amino acids in it as well. So you got protein. It has green tea leaf extract, which helps to shield your hair from environmental damage. And it has some sunflower seed extract. It has panthenol, which is in a strengthener. So, and also citric acid, which is a vitamin C. Um, this is formulated to help repair damaged hair. This is as well. This is supposed to restore damaged hair as well and it helps detangle as well but to me this is just a little bit more moisturizing than the bamboo silk but to me they're both great products i use this the same way um shampoo condition and then just spray it the way that this one sprays out it's a little bit thicker as well this is lighter than this this is thick so if you're like me i have thick hair so i like um leave-ins that are a little thicker sometimes when i when i need it because to me it's a little bit more moisturizing for my hair um i'll show you how this one sprays out as well and you see how it kind of like if i spray it on my hand um, like if i spray it on my hand you kind of see it and then so to me it's thicker it's not necessarily thick because you see i just sprayed it on my hair it hasn't like reverted it my hair doesn't look like super wet or anything um and this is going to give you shine as well and this is good for flat iron as well it's not going to weigh your hair down but to me it's just a little bit moisture more moisturizing and thicker than the design essentials if i spray the design essentials into my hand see how it's just it's very um 
it's liquid like it'll just run down my hair it's not thick at all so those are some of the differences between the two from for me in my hair this one's a little bit more moisturizing so as i am getting further out from um with stretching my relaxer this is the one that i'm going to lean towards the most when um my hair is like 10 weeks post relaxer or something like that i wanted to reach for this one more and also sometimes i will mix these two i will spray this first and then i will go in with with this so these two products have protein in them so that is one of the main reasons why in my regimen i do protein as needed i do not do protein treatments often and that's because i have it in my leave-in conditioner so i'm getting the some protein every single week once a week because i wash my hair once a week so i feel like for me it helps keep a nice moisture protein balance because i deep condition every single week underneath with heat i deep condition every single week with heat and one of the main um deep conditioners that i use does not have any protein in it so this is where i'm getting my protein from so I feel like this help keeps me with a nice moisture protein balance. One of the things I tell people to be careful with with doing protein treatments, make sure you don't have a lot of pro too much protein in your regimen. A lot of conditioners that say that they are moisturizing have protein in them, which you you still can be moisturizing and have protein as well as a product. But you just have to be mindful because when you add on those protein treatments plus you've got your deep conditioner that's already got protein in it and then you follow up with a leave-in conditioner because a lot of leave-in conditioners have protein then you might end up with a protein overload so just be careful be mindful read the ingredients um this is great formula as well it really helps against frizz which i can attest to because i live in a very humid climate so this can help you with frizz especially if you're doing like um curls like a roller set or something or roller wrap or whatever this is this can help you a lot with frizz so this is one of my beloved as well but i love this one more but i love them both and i use them both a lot i've been using into 10 for years um i was using into 10 before i ran into the bamboo silk and then i started using this one more often but i still have this to fall back on because I, I still need it for certain things. So that is my recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, I'm, I wanted to mention with the S10, this one is more accessible. So this one you can find everywhere. Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Meyer, um, Ulta sells this. <sighs> Let's see. I don't know if Sally's, I don't think Sally sells this, but Ulta does. Um, this one is more accessible. I know Ulta does sell some design essential products too. So you might be able to get this at Ulta. It just depends. Like design essentials is in certain stores, but they might not sell certain lines. So I know one of the, another popular line from design essential is the avocado and I can't think right now. It's called avocado and something. And I've tried that as well. And I've tried that leave-in conditioner. And, I, and I've tried their conditioner. And I like it. I just don't like it as much as I like the things that I use on a normal basis. But you might end up liking it. It might be good for you. So, you know, research it. You know, see if it's something you might want to try. But these are my all-time favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to record a flat iron um, video. I didn't like it. It was hard to see, so I'm going to try again, but it won't probably be for months because I am going to be trying to keep heat off of my hair for the rest of the summer. So it probably won't be until fall for that video, but I hope you guys are doing well and being safe out here. As always, peace and love to you and yours. See you guys next time.